Are you recording this? Hey, good afternoon everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the time right now is 5.46 and today's date is July 18. Holy cow, and it's Thursday. Uh, so today, Thursday, is live streaming day. And uh, so uh, today is also a portfolio review for the members, for those out there that, um, uh, you know, that want to show their portfolio and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about it. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. Uh, today's theme, you know, for live show is we're going to ask a, a couple of questions. One of them is um, uh, we're going to talk about reverse split. Uh, we're going to talk about the market decline because the market declined a lot today, uh, and it was declined yesterday too. So are we looking at October 2023, or we're looking at something else? I have not seen any other decline because I'm new to investing. I started in January 2023, so anything prior to January 23, I have no idea. My only decline was October 2023. That's the only experience I have, and I don't think that was a decline. That maybe is just a very isolated toward my sector, not anything else. So, yeah, I'm just curious on that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, one of the questions we always constantly ask our, ourselves is high yield dividend is still a good investment. Yeah. Um, so that would be one of the subjects we talk about. Okay, so for today's portfolio review, there's a lot of things going on, and, and I'm going to show you what I did today. Okay, so I increased the margin just a little bit. Um, I went from 88, so I spent essentially $2,000. I sold out, I'll rebalance a lot of my portfolio. Essentially, this is all I have now, and uh, let me just sort it out here. So I have uh, Tessie 3,500 shares. That's giving me $3,500 a month or more. If they pay more than a dollar, I'm gonna get more. And uh, and Clip pay. Uh, I have 2,000 share of Clips, and that pay me about a dollar. We're gonna find out how much Clip paid next week uh, or two weeks from now. And then ULTY, I just got that 2,000 share, and uh, that's you're gonna pay me at least uh, $2,000. QQY, IW, and Y, uh, they paid me from $600 to $1, so I get roughly from $1,300 uh, $1, all the way to $2,000. So we don't know what next month is, uh, plus there's a reverse split coming, so there's a whole f uh, factor to come in, in to play. Kony, as you can see, I got 1,000 share of Kony. I had 800 uh, as of this morning. I bought 200 more share. That's why you see my, put, my margin just went up just a little bit. Uh, because one, I'm going to get paid by clip here soon, and then it's going to bring it down. And um, and plus, the first week is coming soon. So I just want to. I just, I was just so sick and tired of looking at Coney, and the price came down to 1890. I think 1870. I bought at 1890. It was good. Bring my cost average to 20 dollars 48 cents. So essentially, I'm paying 48 cents more than the original inception price. I think that's pretty fair. Um, down the road, because I like Kony, I like cryptos, I like MSTR, I like all these things. So essentially, because it's one of my strong main thesis, um, is that I may potentially grow Kony more. As, as the price comes down, I may put more money into it. If it comes down to $18, $17, I will continue to put money on it. I don't think they're going to stay down long. Um, that, Like I said, it's all dependent on crypto. But as Coinbase, as an organization, I think this is the year of the Coinbase. 2024 is the year of Coinbase because you got uh, Spot ETF all using their service. Now you got Spot ETH is going to use their service. So, and a whole bunch of countries using their service. A lot of people using their service. So, um, so there's potential money to be made with Coinbase. Um, so I'm, I, I hope they can maximize it. And I hope they can generate good income from that and then continue to grow that company to you know uh, a thousand share a thousand you know you know billions of dollars a company I don't know what the cap uh, cap market for coinbase is but I hope they continue to grow their uh, their uh, their company all right so now because I have a I have a thousand a thousand share of Coney I don't have to buy anymore I'm done guess what all my money from this point on from August all the way till December, it's going to go to MSTY. And unlike all these other funds, MSTY, I'm gonna always going to keep throwing money into it because that's going to be one of my core funds. Uh, you're going to see how I play MSTY when I, when I switch over to Robinhood. 
So Robin Hood, you're going to see MSTY, you're going to see MSTR, uh, and you're going to see Tesla, you're going to see Tesla. You're going to see those pair in Robin Hood uh, and NVD and NVIDIA and stuff like that. You're going to see those pair in, uh, in Robin Hood. But here, it's just mainly my income fund, and you're going to see, I'm going to try to get to 1,000 share between now and December. I will get that really quickly. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Uh, I bought a couple of shares in AMDY because I like AMDY as the price goes down. Um, as you notice, I sold out of my NVD because why? In August, I'm looking to buy the yield boost NVD. I, I'm, that's what I'm saving my money for. Uh, and then AIYY is just another fund. Feppy is, is it's my four weeks supporting clip because clip right now is pretty weak. So yield boost come out, it's paying. It's supposed to pay in four week because Grand Granite Share ETF is all in the fourth week. So if it pay in the fourth week, then I, I'll be golden, I'll be happy because then I will buy the yield boost that will support uh, Clip because right now Feppy is supporting Clip. So unfortunately, Feppy is just expensive. I wish Feppy was a little cheaper. I can't throw a lot of money in there. So, I mean, ultimately, this is what happened when you throw 10,000, 20,000 into Feppy is that what's why would you throw uh, 50000 in the FEPI when you can buy a whole bunch of Tesla, or a whole bunch of ULTY, or a whole bunch of Coney or Misty? You see what I'm talking about? That's, and they pay a lot more dividends. And so that's why, that's why it's every time that you... Tr I'm, I'm, I'm growing FEPI, I'm, I'm continuing to grow it, but I can only grow it in increment. In increment. Uh, but you're not going to see me throwing a lot of money into FEPI. So... I, yeah, so that's my. This is my portfolio uh, right now. Currently, uh, my total cost basis is 221. It went up. Uh, I'm down 18 percent. Uh, I'm continuing to go down until you see green. Uh, you see green across the board here, and as long as, it, as, long as it's red, it's not going to be, you know, it's going to be like that for a while. Uh, so if you minus 18 percent, my total market value is 180. And if you sell everything, Charles Schwab take ninety thousand. I take eighty nine. Okay, so the cost for me to invest since I started this journey, I got I I I used ninety three thousand dollar my own money to grow this fund. Now I didn't do it all at once. I didn't throw ninety three thousand at once. You know, I put a thousand here, two thousand there, three thousand there uh, over the span since I started an investment a year and you know almost two years ago. Um, uh, I put $93,000 into this fund. All right, that $93,000 is generating $10,000 a month. Just understand, $10,000 a month. That's why I don't need to sell. Matter of fact, I don't need to do anything. I'm getting $10,000 a month for the rest of my life. All right, and uh, so let's go ahead and look at income investment, and I'll show you my $10,000. So right here in August, I'm scheduled to get $10,000 in August. And uh, and September and continue on. All right, so yeah, I'm essentially making $120,000 a year from this point forward. I do withdraw money from it. I withdraw 2,000 every month. I withdraw 2,000. In December 2025, starting in January, I'm going to withdraw all the money from it every time. You know, as much as much as I can, because essentially I'm transitioning to pay the bills. Essentially, I'm transitioning. All right. So yeah, that's December 2025. I mean, sorry, uh, January 2025. All right, um, and I, I am very, very ecstatic about this portfolio. Before some, you know, every time before you criticize my portfolio, the first question I ask is, do you do you want ten thousand dollars a month? Because it's making ten thousand dollars a month. Do you do you not want ten thousand dollars a month? And if you say no, then yeah, you're watching the wrong YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, just go away. Don't even bother the comments. Don't even bother to like. Don't even bother to subscribe. And if you do comments, uh, I'm just going to ban you anyway. So, yeah, don't, uh, don't even bother. Um, yeah, so because it's making, I'm making good money, so why would, you, why would you jeopardize it? You know? So because the next obvious question is, what do you want me to do with my money? If you don't want me to invest in all these things, making $10,000 a month, what do you want me to invest it on? And then, yeah, yeah, so that's, okay, so that is uh, my portfolio review. Uh, does any of you guys have any comments, uh, uh, you know, from, uh, wow, Frog, I haven't seen Frog in a long time, Frog. Holy cow, I talk about you all the time, Frog. 
you have no idea how much I miss you. <laughs> because you're the one who gave me the Excel spreadsheet and everybody asked for the Excel spreadsheet and I was like, well, Frog gave it to me and I can't really just give it to you. I got to get her permission first. Uh, the Journey to One Million Dollar Excel spreadsheet, I thought it was one of the best uh, Excel spreadsheet. I still use that to this day. Uh, Frog, it's good to see you. All right, hey, everyone, thank you so much. Uh, peace out. Take care.